This video is going to consist of an unboxing and installation as well as a first look at the Emerson 5000 BTU window air conditioner. Upon unboxing the product, I ran into absolutely no issues with the packaging. Everything looked to be packaged very well. And you were then presented with the manual for the Emerson 5000 BTU window air conditioner along with the top bracket that actually rests and sits back against the window. You're also presented with the two side panels that allowed you to cover up the rest of the existing window, along with the screws and hardware that's needed for the installation. The installation process is very straightforward. You actually have foam that comes with the unit that goes around to allow for anti-vibration and bugs so that they don't get into the living area. You also have a sticker that actually tells you not to drill holes into the air conditioner unit for a couple of reasons. That's because A, that voids the warranty, and B, that also conflicts with the overall function of the air conditioner because it actually uses the water in the system to more efficiently cool the living space. The next process of this installation is very easy. You just install the top bracket onto the top of the air conditioner, which allows the unit to sit back into the top of the window frame. And the next part of this installation is something that I really like, is that the side panels are toolless. So you don't need screws or anything. They actually just slide into grooves on the side of the air conditioner. And those panels allow the gap on each side of the air conditioner to keep elements and bugs from getting into the living space. All right, so here's what the air conditioner looks like installed. There is a little bit of memory from being packaged up. Uh, it's starting to actually undo itself. It's fitting pretty good right now. There's still a filter here, which is like which is like a fine mesh, nothing crazy. And you have the two dials here for uh, max cool, minimum cool, and then you have off, low, cool, high cool, low fan, and high fan. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back of this unit. Based on my window, I think it's just like a basic vinyl window. I have no idea what kind of window this is. But you need a very thin piece of, of wood, I would say. Or even wood. I'm using, um, as a temporary solution right now, cardboard. So you only really need to put this into perspective. Let's go ahead and take a look. So here's the outside bottom of the unit. There's no drain port whatsoever. But I actually just took three ply of basic cardboard right here and then just stuffed it underneath because that's how thick it is from the bottom of this metal bracket here. There's like a metal bracket right there and it's a very thin piece of wood that you need. 